Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can make millions using the bunker supply and stock research. So this is honestly something that wasn't really a big deal until the new DLC update, the Criminal Enterprise, which basically added a bunch of new features and also made a lot of stuff including the bunker, nightclub and everything just two times more money and faster research and supplies. So we're actually going to be using that to make millions in GTA 5. But first, let's just go ahead and give our daily shout outs to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published. So thank you for that. And if you guys want to be featured in the next shout out, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe, and also comment down below that way you can help with the video's ratings and have more people see this. Alrighty, let's just go ahead and begin with it. The only thing you need for this is you need to own a bunker. You can do this by going into any GTA Online session and then you want to go over to your phone, go over to internet, click on money and services, go down to you find foreclosures maze bank, press enter site, and on the top right hand corner they give you options to choose from it. From here, just click on Bunkers, and it's going to be on the north part of the map. Now, if you do have the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, then you can get the Polito Forest Bunker for absolutely free. Now, the one I use, because it's just more convenient, is the Chumash Bunker. Now, the reason I have this one is because when you sell your supplies, you actually make more profit if you sell it inside of Los Santos so I try to get the closest one to that. Now from here what you want to do is just go ahead and make your way over it to your bunker. Once you make it in your bunker you're going to see three different things on the bottom right hand corner which is stock, research, and supplies. Now the stock is actually how much you have right now and the supplies is how much you have given to the bunker that way it can be made into stock. So Another one is called research, but what I actually did was I made all of my staff just go straight into going supplies because the research doesn't really give you much. So once you go inside your bunker, if you keep heading inside towards it, you're going to find a computer icon. Once you are here, you can see here my total earnings are $871,000 and a total sales of three. Now if you go over here to manage staff, there's actually three different options you have, manage staff to manufacturing, research, or both. Now, research basically just allows you to unlock different types of stuff, and some of them are okay, but a lot of them are not really useful at all. Maybe the presser missiles are like the only one, but what we're going to do is we're going to have them all go to manufacturing, that way we can make the most money as possible. So from here, what we're going to do is go ahead, steal supplies, or you can buy them for 30000 but you won't be making as much money if you buy them, so there's no point in that. And currently, for the stock I have right now is a very minimum, but I can actually sell it right now for $168,000. So now what we're going to do is go to resupply and steal them. So for these supply missions, they're actually really easy to do. All you have to do is go to a certain place, get the supplies, and then bring it back to the bunker. And it's as easy as that. Alright, so we just delivered the supplies to the bunker. And now we're going to have to wait a little bit of time for it to actually get into stock. So, I don't actually know how long it takes to do that. But if I know, I will go ahead and put on the screen here how long it takes. And what we're going to do now is something that they just added as part of the new Criminal Enterprise DLC. Which is going to be this ammunition supply vehicle. So what this does is it's something that kind of just gathers over time and what you can do is actually deliver the excess weapons for around $50,000. So it's honestly something that doesn't take much of your time, mainly 5 minutes at the most and it grants you $50,000 which is decent money. There we go, so we just got it all sold and we made ourselves $50,000. Now keep in mind you don't get any RP for this. So if you're trying to do this for levels, it's not going to work. Now what we're going to have to do is actually wait for our supplies to turn into stock. 
there's a couple of things we can actually do while we're waiting, depending on if you actually want to stay in the game or be AFK. If you guys want to do this AFK, if you guys go inside your bunker right beside the computer, there is going to be a security camera that you can access. Once you're in the camera feed, you can honestly just stay here and stay AFK. The reason for this is it will not kick you out and it also like brings the supplies up in the progress of this. Or what you guys can do is just deliver other stuff such as a nightclub goods, vehicle cargo, um, RP crates or anything like that honestly can just make you good money. As well as it is three times money in RP this week for the Betch Bucci Job Remix. And it honestly makes you a lot of money so you can do that as well while you're waiting for your bunker supplies to turn into stock. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and show you guys what we did after about 20 minutes. Have you ever been broken GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily we have OP mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. Alright, so after waiting here about, I say about 20 at 30 minutes of just sitting here on the security cam we finally got our value up to hundred and twenty thousand dollars as well as the weapon parts have been restocked so what we're actually going to do first is we're actually going to go ahead and do the weapon access parts that way whenever we're trying to sell our hundred and twenty thousand dollar value it can actually restock and everything like that so let's just go ahead go back here take this vehicle and then we should be able to make ourselves another $50,000. And there we go. We made ourselves another $50,000. And now what we're going to do is go back to the bunker and then sell all of the stuff that we currently have. Now that we've arrived at our bunker, let's just go ahead and go to the computer. Now, to be fair, if you guys actually do the AFK strategy, which I did by standing at the security cameras and watching them, doing the bunker is honestly a not a good money method. Which is why I always recommend doing something in the background, such as like your nightclub, other businesses, or if you want to, it, three times money in RP on it, the Best Bucci and Job Remix. Also a good money method, but just from sitting there doing nothing is not actually good with uh, trying to make millions quick. So now that we've got our value up to $120,000, this took around uh, 20 minutes to do so. Let's just go ahead, access the laptop, enter it. And then what we're going to do is sell it. Now we can sell it to Los Santos for $252,000 or sell it to Blake County for $168,000. Now of course we're going to do this to Los Santos because we want the max amount of money. For this one all we had to do is get inside of this vehicle over here and then deliver it to five different locations. Now while we were trying to deliver it we were getting attacked by enemies but I was able just to destroy them by using RPGs. And once you have five of them delivered, you finally get your max payout. There we go. We made ourselves $252,000 as well as an okay amount of RP. Honestly, the RP is not that good, so I don't recommend doing this for an RP method. But the money is actually really good for this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and go back into our bunker and then go and look and see if we need to go and steal some supplies or not. Now that we've gone inside of it, we have a little bit of supplies. This is still trying to fill up. And now what we can do is we can either wait for the supplies to go into stock. Or we can actually resupply it again. But I think we're actually good for right now. So what I'm going to do next, um, if you guys can, is I'm going to go to my nightclub and start selling some stuff. While we wait for this one to start adding up some value. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And subscribe for more GTA 5 comments like this. Also, do not be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions about this. And if I see it, I will try my best to answer it. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.